So my name is Todd Landis, and this is data painting with entrance in MySQL. And there's an example up on the slides now that shows one of the images that we'll be showing later on in the talk. My, my time is a little different. So entrance is, entrance is a desktop application. It embed, we embed uh, SQL queries in, or rather uh, plot setup information in SQL queries. This is an example of a table view uh, in our window. And we make a lot of charts. So if you take a look at the slides now, you'll see some of the examples of the charts that we make. Each of these is made by one of those scripts I mentioned in the, at the beginning there. So you can import data using the entrance uh, import dialog, or we can meet data in, the, in MySQL. So the idea is that you have uh, a batch file of, of some kind importing data. You write scripts, put them in entrance, go out and image the data. So this is our twist. Um, you see our, the, the highlighted plot uh, part of that command is our chart setup information. And below it, you can see a select statement that can be any MySQL select statement. And the result of that script produces a chart that looks like this. So in about two minutes, you can install entrance. In about 30 seconds more, you can make a chart like that. So the one thing to remember if you're going to play with this is that axis labels, red line, those are chart series, and they have to match up one to one with columns in the table or the result set generated by your select. So the main, the main part of this talk, though, is data painting, and there's an example on the screen now. You can see a scatter plot with a bunch of blue points, and some of them are red. And on the next slide, we'll see how to do that. So these are just MySQL uh, statements. You're familiar with update, of course. And they're setting strings in a color column to color names. The first one is using blue. And the second one is putting in RGB values, of course, for red. You set up a color override in the plot part of the entrance command. And you match that up with a color column in the MySQL select statement. And that's the result. So you can imagine scatter plots, bar charts, line charts with segments that you want to emphasize. And we call that data painting. So here's an example using a calculated column. Again, you see the color override in the plot part. And in the select part, you see a cascade of ifs. And this is a way of getting a color spectrum uh, a simple way of getting a color spectrum uh, corresponding to a range of values. There's the result. I could, I actually could give the other guy some of my time. Uh, okay, so here's a more, a more uh, exotic example. Uh, down at the bottom, you see from zip codes. This is zip code data with uh, latitude, longitude, and associated values. Uh, one of them is states, and so if we look at the result of that script, we see uh, red zip codes as the default with California blue. You could, you could do the same thing with uh, marketing data, uh, make a marketing heat map corresponding to sales and so on. Finally, I'd like to talk about interactive painting. This is in the, only in the desktop version. Uh, if, you, if you take some steps to set up the script correctly, and I've, I've written a note about how to do this, you can dynamically choose points by dragging out a rectangle on the screen. In this case, they're painted green. The cool thing about this is that the green color is written back into the underlying database table, which means that other applications or entrants can spot it. You can actually see those colors from other scripts uh, running S SQL. So on the next slide, there's an example that shows uh, that the green color is visible to the MySQL client. And we're, we're actually calculating averages. The right side there, there are counts for the different colors. And at the bottom, a matchbox selection of the green color in entrance itself. And that's all the time I have. That, there, are the, there are the charts that we make and dbentrance.com is the place to go for more information.
Thank you very much.